Welcome to Question and Answer on Insects. Let's learn with MG through stories, poems, and learning magic. This presentation will help deepen your understanding of insects, their characteristics, anatomy, behavior, and classification. Here's what we'll cover. Multiple choice questions about insects, fill in the blanks and true or false questions, naming insect-related terms, short and descriptive answers, reasoning and explanation questions, and picture-based classification exercises. Get ready to enhance your knowledge about insects. We'll start with multiple choice questions to test your knowledge about insect characteristics, how to identify insects among other animals, the body parts of insects, and the life cycle of a butterfly. Insects have three pairs of jointed legs, not four. Unlike some other animals, insects don't have internal bones. Instead, they have an external exoskeleton. They reproduce by laying eggs and can move by flying, crawling, or both. Can you tell which creatures are insects? For example, ants and houseflies are insects, but spiders are not. Learning to distinguish insects from other animals is an important skill. The body of an insect is divided into three main parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The head contains sensory organs and mouth parts, while the thorax bears the legs and wings for movement and flight. The butterfly's life cycle begins with eggs laid on leaves. Caterpillars hatch and feed on leaves, then form a chrysalis in the pupa stage. Finally, the adult butterfly emerges, ready to fly and reproduce. Next, let's explore key facts about insect anatomy and behavior through fill-in-the-blanks and true or false statements. These questions will help reinforce your understanding of insects. Adult insects have three main body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. The nymph is the immature stage between egg and adult in some insects. Antennae help insects sense their environment. Mosquitoes spread malaria, termites recycle dead wood, and caterpillars eat leaves to grow. Let's check some statements. The exoskeleton protects an insect's body. True. Drone bees help with reproduction and expanding beehives. True. Worker ants do most of the work in a colony. True. Ladybugs feed on blood. False. They actually eat pests. Now, let's name some important insect-related terms and learn what they mean. This will help you remember key concepts about insects. The exoskeleton is the tough outer covering on an insect's body. Spiracles are tiny air holes for breathing. Apiculture is the practice of rearing honeybees for honey. A chrysalis is the protective covering around a caterpillar during the pupal stage. Let's move on to short answer questions about insects. These will cover the life cycle and different roles insects play in their colonies. Honeybees store nectar in beehives. The study of insects is called entomology. The second stage in a cockroach's life cycle is the nymph. Bedbugs are insects that feed on blood. Insects have three main body parts, head, thorax, and abdomen. During the pupa stage, caterpillars form a protective case. Ant colonies have worker ants, soldiers, and a queen. The queen ant is the largest member and is responsible for reproduction. Now, let's look at descriptive answers about terms and uses related to bees and caterpillars, as well as the values we learn from insects. Biting insects pierce skin to feed on blood or plant fluids. An apiary is where beehives are kept for honey collection. Apiculture is the practice of rearing honeybees. Beeswax, produced by bees, is used to make candles and polish for furniture. Caterpillars have soft bodies, grow rapidly, chew leaves, and shed their skin multiple times. Honeybees help pollinate flowers and provide honey and beeswax. Social insects like honeybees and cockroaches share food and care for their young. From insects, we learn values such as teamwork, responsibility, and organization. Let's tackle some reasoning and explanation questions about insects and their features, focusing on their roles in nature and unique adaptations. Earthworms are called the farmer's friend because they feed on dead plants and animals, enriching the soil and increasing fertility. Insect antennae are also called feelers and serve as sensory organs to help insects sense their surroundings. 
Now, we'll identify insect parts and their functions from images and classify insects as either useful or harmful to humans. The insect shown here is a honeybee, important for pollination and honey production. The antennae act as sense organs to help the insect feel its environment. The abdomen contains vital organs like the heart and digestive system. Some insects are useful, like ants and bees, which help with pollination and pest control. Others, like flies and mosquitoes, are harmful because they can spread diseases. Through different types of questions, we've covered essential knowledge about insects, enhancing your understanding of their biology, behavior, and ecological roles. Please like, share, and subscribe for more educational content.